Well, welcome to Girls Chat. This is the show where we share information and inspiration so that you will have a profitable soul and budget. I am Kay Elizabeth Green, your spiritual fitness coach, where it is my joy, my pleasure to work with all of you highly sensitive, natural born leaders, which I refer to as indigos, live your best life now. And my co-host is... I'm Karen Farn, your Money Mindset Coach and the founder of the Money Mindset Academy at Island Girl Hustle. And I help women 35 to 55 really tell new money stories, not the ones that have been thrown on them, and clear their mind from any junk or conk that was there and just live the fullest life ever. Money's not everything, but that's what we use in this world to get us where we want to be. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm, I'm truly learned. Um, I'm truly learning and I've learned so much from you as far as using money as a tool. Mm -hmm. So I am one of my intentions. And, and before we get into that, because that's what we're talking about today, folks, we're talking about intentions. It's, <clears throat> it's the beginning, uh, a new year, a time to, I, a time that I always reflect. I, at the end of the last year and the beginning of the first year, I never do the first day, but I take time to reflect on my, not resolutions anymore, but my intentions, my plans. How far have I come? Uh, how close am I? What do I need to be thankful for? Check off, look at all my progress, which I've had a lot, or and to reset. What about you, Karen? Oh, yeah. Uh, you should start quite before the year end. Uh, this year, there's a lot of family um, things that happened. So certain things I just didn't get to. And I released myself from it because I know what I'm going to do. So I kind of released that energy and not be into this pressure cooker where if I didn't get it done, oh, my God, what's going to happen? So that's, that, that's how I look at it. And all this month, I, um, I'm teaching on vision board, just the very basic, of course, I do have a course that I sell for just $27 and I call it a vision board book because it's, I rather it be a book than it just be the board that you put up on the wall because it allows you to add in your first quarter. Maybe you need to add again in your second quarter. It just helps you to realize yeah. and it goes way deeper than just posting pictures. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I like the idea of a book. Um, many people, and I've worked with a lot, when they're setting their, their visions, they have a tendency to share too much with others that don't have believing eyes. Right. And then they began to pick it apart. What are you doing? Who do you think you are? That You know, you have enough negative voices in your own head. Exactly. <laughs> you don't need any other. <laughs> that, that you really don't need any others at all. And so for those people who are sharing their environment, with people who might not be as supportive as they would like them to be, I would say, hey, keep it private, keep it in a book, keep it in a, I used to have people put it in their shoe boxes that they would design, especially, you know, us as women, sometimes as we are making transition out of difficult situations, we need to be able to, <laughs> the word keeps coming hide, but I, I would, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a nicer word. Well, I, I would say hide in plain sight. And that is painting that continuous picture for yourself. And you paint it in your mind eyes. So that way nobody can see it. Um, whether it be a shoebox, whether it is your 
you know, you're folding it up and you get a big 11 by whatever and you fold it up in a couple of pieces and slip it in your purse. Or if you have a phone case like me, you slip it in there. I do a lot of tricks for myself because it just helps keep me reminding me. I am not um, a wall that I don't get invaded either. So I keep a lot of reminders on me, in my purse, in my phone, in my iPod, between books. And I will just flip it out and remind me. I was in a situation the other day, just before the year end, and I had a lot of words I could have said to the person. I kept quiet. It did not need to be spoken. I, 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 <laughs> I had the conversation with myself while the person talked, and I listened, and I said, okay. They would be shocked to know the whole conversation that went on. It was not for them. It was for me to center myself while they carry on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit cold, so I have my heater on. I'm going to go take it off because I'm getting a little too hot. But I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know exactly what Karen is talking about because I I too have different little ways of um different little ways of reminding myself of helping myself to really focus in I um one of the things that I've done is a Thank you jar to help me. I called it a blessing jar yesterday. 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 Yes, 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 <laughs> <last year. laughs> it was just two days into the year. So, you know, it kind of gets tricky then, right? <laughs> <laughs> but let me see if I can show it to you. Um, but, yeah, I can. Let me hop back. Come on, computer wants me to. Um, so while, yeah, I was just gonna say, while Liz looks for that, and it'll show up eventually. There it is. She, there it is. she showed it to us last year, and now she we're revisiting it this year again. And yeah. how wonderful, how wonderful that she has this blessing jar. I saw somebody has something in their own version on Pinterest. And I'm encouraging Liz, trust me, ladies and gents, if, you, if you're on any one of us, please is live, say hi. <laughs> and if you're catching us on the replay, put in hashtag replay. And I'm encouraging Liz this year. And I'm probably going to send her a simple Pinterest course where I want her to get on there and post some of these things because they're really good printers shots that she's got here um, for her visibility. Um, she doesn't have to spend a whole bunch of time on it, and this goes for you too. It's just that I want you guys to be everywhere that you need to be, not that it's going to create overwhelm, but just every place that you need to be. I'm also going to have a social calendar coming out within a few weeks that I'll be sharing for free so that you can schedule those things, you can get to doing them, and it wouldn't, I promise you, it wouldn't feel like a lot. I am designing everything to be so simple because I don't want people to feel like they can't manage their business. And we, one of the things that, that I want to mention about this jar is last year I had a top on it. It was closed. And it said blessing. But when I went back and started looking at what I was there, I really realized I was saying thank you, thank you, thank you. And one of my clients, I think I mentioned it last time we were together, hers was filling up. So I decided to enhance it a little bit. This sits right by my desk. I'm leaving it open. Notice I have the paper sitting right next to it so yeah. that I won't forget to say thank you. And the little, let me see if I can, the sign under here is really working well. Something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me today. Yeah, we can't see it because um, maybe the banner was taken away from seeing it. So if oh, you yeah. want to show us again and move the banner so that they can see it and then we can replace the banner. That way yeah. we'll see what you have written at the bottom there. 
because we can't see it. Well, well, while I'm doing that, I'm going to allow you to go ahead and share a little bit more about some of how, how you are. You said you stick it behind your uh, phone case, the ways that you use to remind yourself. Yes. Uh, what I found was uh, when I was in college, I had these great reminders and it really helped me on writing tests. I was great at paper and anything. But when it comes to the test, I got nervous. And I think one of the reasons was I was old, probably one of the oldest students in the class. And I was about 29 and 30 when I was in college. So, uh, you know, there's the youngsters coming out of you, the teenagers in the early 20s. So mm -hmm. the brain wasn't doing as well as they were. That's what I thought, you know, when we graduated, you realized you were doing really good, Karen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that's what I thought at the time, and so those were my little tricks. Um, and so I got some cards, some clear, some, you know, just regular cards, and all I would do is just write down, like this one right here, like it says here, like you see, uh, this one says the boss, and I would just jot down little things on a three by five, or I have the business cards that's a little wider, and, and, and I would jot down whatever I need to jot down those cards like that. And I folded it in half, and some of them I have that it says, you know, I forgive myself for. And then right next to it, once I put what I forgive myself for, next to it, I'll write a positive thing towards that. So I can open that card before I go to bed when I get up in the morning and see it at my night table. Um, if I am feeling a certain way and something goes right in my purse behind it, just, just keeping me positive for that day. If I felt like I... Um, you know, didn't do enough in my business in terms of I didn't make enough sales um, as I projected. Why did I not do that? And I will give myself something that will spur me on for the next day because I have, you know, if you're in business, you need to be selling every single day. I don't care what anybody says, whether it's automatically or in person or through some channel, you should be selling every day. And I give that advice and I slacken off on myself and I ask my question, why did I do that? I give the answer and now I go in and I apply why. So those sort of things are with me and it just helps me to keep on track. Yeah, uh, as you were talking about it, I have mine that are sitting right up there. My yes, got lots of those, yeah. yeah. That, that I can, that remind me, I ask myself, and we need to keep asking ourselves, yes, what are asking we want? How, how close are we? And that reminds me that one of the things that I'm starting on, um, on Monday is a uh, five day listening to your intuitive guidance because it's gonna be a free course because people are, it says ask and you will receive. What I'm recognizing is a lot of people aren't conscious how they are acting actively asking each and every day by the thoughts that they're having, the words that they're using, um, that they're unconsciously making decisions. Yes. And I'm so glad you when you finish speaking, I just so happy you talk about the words. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, it, and and to make people conscious of that they're getting answers. We think that intuition has to come a certain way. You know, that the, if we ask and pray and say, Father, show us, the sky will open, the clouds will part, lightning will strike. <laughs> and that's how we'll know that we've been inspired. But, you know, they say small, the, 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 the still small voice. And it comes to a person who you might not have known on the bus stop says, check this out. You happen to walk by a bookstore and something nudges your hand and a book falls open. You happen to be listening to music, and that song just keeps sings every time you get into the car. 
it's plain and it's plain. That's how our guides talk to us. And once you start recognizing that maybe yours comes in a dream, maybe yours comes in um, through music, maybe your answers are coming through um, the book that you read that you can recognize. And so we're gonna be tracking it of seeing, hey, wait a minute. Yes, you are receiving now. Now, decide, do you want to receive what you see? If not, you can choose it. So it's, it's, I'm so excited. I, I, I see also for me this year has been a revelation that you can design a business light around your lifestyle. <laughs> Excuse me. You, I truly believe and that's what I'm doing. And um, you're creating a business <laughs> that fits you. Opposed to one that you've heard from others. This is how it's supposed to be. This is the way to do it. It is, if we had always listened to this is the way we do it, we'd never be talking to each other on, like this. This, yep. <laughs> I hadn't intended on it, but I guess we did. This is the saying that I've written down below my blessing jar. Something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me yeah. tonight. Yeah. And it is surprising when you start your day like that. Amazing things always happen. Amazing hey. things always happen. This morning I had to go out to play, to do some employee things, get some um, money to my employees and, and some other things I have to do. And I, I decided that instead of my work here, I'm going to do my workout by walking to the bank and walking. You know, I was going to take the bus back because I'm going to walk. And I, I I was timing it. I know it takes about half an hour and I did it in 20 minutes and I, or less, and I was like beyond myself. Like, Whoa, it's working. What I'm doing, you know, exercise, it's working because I mean, I beat it by 10 plus minutes, right? <laughs> and less coming back. <laughs> and I got in my workout, right? I go back to my mom and say, what happened? You run? <laughs> but, but that's how it goes. All of a sudden you see progress. Yes. All of it is. You see progress. And the word that you're talking about is if you have a bunch of negative words, don't be bothered by it. Just just flank it with positive on the side and get out your words when you're not sure words and you say that. Don't feel bad. Just say, okay, I take that back and I use this. Don't beat yourself up. After a while, those get less and these get more. That's what you have to understand. Asking is a direct result in why I am sitting here in this chair speaking. I had asked when I was five years old, I asked God for my dad to sponsor me to Canada. That's where I live right now. And as I got older, you know, cousins had laughed at me. Even my mom had said at one point, just give it a rest. It's over. And everybody would say to me when I would tell them, they're like, what are you talking about? You don't correspond with him. You know, I think at this point, you should leave it alone. I was 15 when a cousin said that to me. And he came the next year. I was 16. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying to her, you see, you see? No, I know it took a long time, and I'll tell you why. I stopped focusing because when people tell me not to, even though I wanted it, part of me was questioning if they were right. If I didn't take away my focus, it would have happened sooner. I have no doubt about it. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Because the second time around, when I saw him when I was about 20, I started the process. I got pregnant with my eldest and I started the process and it didn't take 12 months. And there he was, couldn't find me again, found somebody who knew me and they said, I am going to actually bring you to her. And he said, what? 
the person said, yes, I can do it. Just give me five minutes. I'll take you to her. I know who she is. That girl did, 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 did for me. And I can't remember who it is or what I've done for the person. But they were like, I'm going to take you. And he told me, he said he waited. And they got themselves together and just brought him. And that's because the intentions were set. The other ask. No, that's because I'm here. I started in business. It's because I asked, what am I supposed to do at nine to look after what needed to be looked after? What am I supposed to do? And I asked the question for three weeks. Now, I'm showing you the long span. I'm talking about a 12 months. No, let me tell you about the magic in three weeks because by now, you know, from five to nine, I figured out some things. It might be a lot of things, but I figured out some things. And I asked. I would ask early in the morning and I would ask late at night and I would ask in between the day, how do I do this? I mean, I got in trouble in class because I was talking in class. I was already talking, but they saw my lips moving and, you know, <laughs> you're not supposed to be doing that. So I got into trouble. But I wasn't looking after their troubles because I knew what I was asking for. <laughs> and when the answer came to me three weeks later at, I'll tell you, it's about it was quarter to five in the afternoon. This is the part. You got to listen and then you receive. Ask, listen, and you will receive. That's mine. <laughs> hey, I, 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 I totally agree with you. I don't know what's happening. We are echoing. It does that and then it writes it out, so don't bother about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. Oh, we're, all, we're almost finished. Uh, that's the benefit of looking back. When you look back and you see how we think we're stumbling through life, mm -hmm. but really we're guided when we listen. You know, three years ago, I stepped away from what people would have said, well, I should stay there. You should stay there. You know, um, but I declared I was going to get back, establish my business, establish a business that suited my lifestyle where I was doing what I love. Now, I thought because I had internet experience, I thought because I had the, the spiritual knowledge, I would step right off and boom, two weeks. A <laughs> couple of months, yeah. I have it done. But what I've learned, and as I look back three years later, you can't get to the top of the mountain without the climb. Amen. You know, it takes, you know, because you're building those muscles slowly, but surely what I thought and I've learned along the way, what I thought would have taken a couple of months in reality has taken me three years to do, but also technology has now moved to the place that it benefits my style of learning, mm -hmm. my style of teaching, that I can sit here in Nevada and talk to you in Canada. I tell you, girl. <laughs> so that's hopefully our viewers are also thinking about their intentions. My intention for the show, and I don't know about yours, my intention for the show is now to really grow our show. So people who are listening, please do like and share. Uh, if you want reminders, I have, um, I'm connecting my bot. So look at the, um, at this banner. I'm connecting my bot. So if you would like, sure enough, my little bot to alert you before we are going live, just type it in. It, if it's not working, I will get it working within the next hour. But um, just want to, I am excited about it. But before we get too far on, Good look. <laughs> Good look. <laughs> awesome, awesome.
awesome, awesome. And uh, for the next little while, every time I share, I'll be sharing you a book. I got a lot of books for Christmas, and I haven't touched them because there's a book I'm finishing up, and it starts next week. I plan on reading a book every week. But for this week, I just want to share um, a book with you called Little Dribbles. And I am the author of Little Dribbles. And okay. it's a book that will start you off. It really showcases how small we start and what we can grow into. And in the book, it also come along with activities for you to do in the book, to tell you, so that you can see your progress, so you can monitor that. Uh, it's a, it is not done yet, but it will have an accompanist um, book beside it that really gets you deeper into working on you. Because I believe you can only grow your business if you spend a good chunk of your time working on you. Because when you work on you, your business becomes very, very easy. And I knew this. I was told this. And every business that I have ever had and that was very successful, it was because I spent a lot of time working on me. And I dropped the ball last year on working on me for a little bit. I did. And it, sales drop. You know, I just did. And I, I just want to be clear and open and upfront with people because it doesn't matter what we see live, there's people always watching us. And I want to know it happened to each and every one of us. And that's why I mentioned this because I dropped the ball. Not anybody, not, not that anybody didn't buy from me or nobody wanted my service. I dropped the ball. I took a place. I was hiding, if you will. I was hiding in some sense of the word without realizing I was hiding. And once I realized it, I had to go and reshape things. Because when you realize something, if you just plunge head in, you don't get anywhere either because that's a panic mood. That's not the mood you want to be in. And I've always worked from places Liz was saying, a business that suited her. Every business I had suited me. So I got the clients that work well together that way. And if you don't do that with yourself, you find yourself not being able to do what you need to do. So I said to myself, why was I hiding? I investigate that part of me and do exactly what I tell my clients. You have to sell every day. And that doesn't mean I, I'm selling, I'm selling. It means you speak to people, you interact, you socialize, you put out an ad, you talk to people in person. That is how you sell every day. Now, not every day you might make money, but you still have to sell and build those relationships every single day. So we'll let people know when the book is ready, where they can yes. get a copy yes. of it. Uh, and it's, I'm glad that you're sharing your story. One of the books that I listened to, I didn't read because I'm going to mm -hmm. go back now and highlight it, was On Becoming by Michelle Obama. And one of the the commonalities is that regardless of what accolades you may have, there's always that little voice of doubt behind that we have to push through. Yes. We always see people here, but we never think about all of the work that they go through to get there. And for me, it was really inspiring. It was motivating. It got me back to, yeah, we're always becoming. We, yes. I, we've become a mother, a father, mm -hmm. you know, a, 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 a a teacher, a speaker, yes. a author, a yes. you know, a business owner, and it's never an end. Mm -hmm. So, what my question to our viewers as we're ending, what are you becoming for 2019? I love it. What are you becoming in 2019? Let us know. You know, we're becoming um viable voice in the community of helping you to really inspire and soar. You know, um, my yoga teacher said that when you lift your chest up, you're letting your heart open up. Wow. Love and, it. 
And this morning, when I was sitting doing my meditation, I got, not only are we opening up the front part of the heart chakra, which we as women do all the time is to give, give, give. What it's telling us this year is to receive to open up the back and to receive the love for ourselves mm -hmm. first so that we can soar and give it to others. So that's, that's, that's what I'd like to, what are you becoming? Well, you know, and that's what we'll be talking about. And hopefully we'll be able to help you become the best you that you can be. Karen? And for me is I had this thought, it, it was playing in me, playing around with me for a week. It, it came over this week. So of course I'm going to, I want to have a five or a seven day channel. I haven't decided on a day, but a channel about finding you. The challenge is really about finding you. So when she said, when Liz says this had me like kickling inside because I want to do a five day, a five day or a seven day challenge having women find themselves. And the, the words keep coming back and I'm thinking, why would I do a challenge about that? And of course, once I asked the question, all the answers were just piling up. I'm like, yes, that is really good. Write this month, don't put it off. I, you know, by the, the 15th of the month, it'll be out there, I'll get it written and just have women come on. Anybody could join, but really looking forward to some women to come on and take the channel the challenge with with me and then do something like this come on our show and chat or or on my, anywhere that that we can do this face to face and just listen to their stories and talk to them and get them in this action mood and what you know what it is what are you what are you how could you love you more because i think it's because after last year i did in november i did a 30 day loving me deeply it really it was just so, such little things that i did that really made me feel good about myself just really made me wanting to do more for me and take some more time with me and not feel too rushed and so that's part of the things I'll have women go through. So that's what my beginning of 2019 is looking like. Um, I also have a mastermind. I'll be starting. So all those wonderful things that lead people into finding themselves because the more whole you are, the more through you are to yourself, the better you are for your business. And it has to be an attachment. Like I tell young couples all the time, you and you, there were you first and then you meet your partner. Don't put them in front of you. I had a home economics teacher who told her that since I was in grade four, she says, you come first. She's one of the first person that talked about me or you or I coming first. She says, then you get your husband. And attachment is your children. You can't put your children first. Of course, you're going to look after the baby. Of course, you're going to see into their need, but never, ever them before you. And here Liz holding up a book says you. Hey. It, it is the commonality mm -hmm. the universe is calling us, yes. especially as women, to take off our cloak yeah. and allow our light to Oh my God. And as we're talking, the, the, the name of the challenge just came to me. Finding you. Okay. Alrighty. So without, it is that time. We're off. We're good. <laughs> we did well. <laughs> and it's so smooth. so smooth. When we're finished live, I gotta go take five minutes. I hope, yeah. I hope that you have, um, for our viewers, we're going to be here every, um, every Wednesday, noon Pacific, and 3 p.m. Eastern. Tune in. Like us. Type in live if you want the notifications. We'd love to have you chat with us. You'll find us live on Facebook. You can find the replay both here on Facebook and my page, Kay Elizabeth Green, or and Karen's page. On Island Girl Hustle, we'll be there. And in the group, Island Girl Hustle group. So there's so many places. And you'll find us eventually on YouTube too. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unless you will find, we will put the replay on YouTube. 
And we, by the end of the month, will be on iTunes so you can listen to us, um, the audio part. So beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> May light, love, and plenty of laughter accompany you uh, on your path. Come, enjoy, soar with us in 2019. God bless us. <laughs> <laughs> Have a blessed one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.